Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a cash unstuffing mainly from our cash envelopes. We haven't been really spending much money besides just, you know, the everyday day-to-day -day spending and um, just one sinking fund. So I'm going to be going over all of our expenses, tracking everything in my monthly spread with stickers and you know just chatting a little bit about how our spending week went so if you enjoy videos like this or it's something you're planning to maybe incorporate into your budget then go ahead and keep watching now i'm gonna go ahead and place all the stickers and go over all of the expenses in my monthly spread i'm gonna grab my expense stickers i already have them pre-filled out just to make things go a lot smoother and faster. This is so convenient, the little pocket that it comes with. And these are stickers that I do use in this planner. This planner did come with these two sheets here. So I left it here just if I wanna decorate it, I have little decorative stickers. And I also sometimes use some of these. They do come from, uh, this one comes from a, a sticker book and I have it right next to me, I did want to share. Before I get on with the with the tracking, it comes in this sticker book here. There's quite a bit of, I think I've shared this before. And there's these three sheets. There's three sheets of each one and it's from the home edit. I got it from Target. I will link everything in the description box in case you're interested. I also, I didn't even know, but I had purchased this same uh, company. I had purchased their sticker book. I haven't used it, but this was $5. So it's mainly like little icons and it does come with three sheets of the same thing but it does have like you know appointment stickers holiday stickers days off i think they're really cute i really like the the color scheme and then it comes with all these little icons and the last one is this one i think my favorite is this little grocery bag and it comes with three of each like i said and it's basically this but this one the stickers are matte and this one they're more you know glossy so this one like i said it was five dollars the other one this one right here i think it was around ten dollars like I'll, I'll link everything in this in the description box um the only reason i'm sharing is because i do get questions at least one person asking me where I got my stickers from. I'm not sure where, wh which stickers they mean. So these are from Sweet Bunny Blessings on Etsy and I will link them. They're always linked in my videos and um, she does sell them in a pack of five, which you do get a bit of a discount or in an individual sheet. And these right here, I got them from the Orange Umbrella Co. I believe they're also on Etsy and they have a website. I purchased these like almost two years ago off of their website. The only thing I re I don't like, I really like the colors, but I don't like that the stickiness of the, of the sticker is not that great, but I will use them up. I, I'm trying to use things up that I already have and other sticker books that I did use for the spread. Let me open it up to the spread. So it's right here. So from, from this sticker book, I did place this little these little words here and this one also comes with a variety of just different stickers this one i think i got it from michael's a while back i'm not sure if they have if they still have it um if they do i'll link it if they don't i'll link something similar and then i used this one for something oh i think it was for this little note sticker here this one's from the dollar tree it was just a dollar 25 and you get a lot of decorative stickers but also functional stickers i'm not really a pink person but i might use this for february i don't know some of these little stickers here this little box right here i got it from fancy plants co it is a company by marquita from at home with kita i love her channel um and it just comes with like a whole bunch of functional functional stickers and I love it. It doesn't seem like I've used it very much, but there's just so many stickers in here. And right here, it gives you some options of how you can use it. And um, the last thing, any like little tiny icons, I do 
purchase them from the Dollar Tree. I have shared this before, but um, like this one, I think this one I got it from this holiday sheets. It comes with two sheets for $1.25, so I think it's a pretty good deal. And I have so many. Like, whenever I feel like playing with stickers, I crack open all my little sticker books and my sticker sheets and I get to it. So I, I just wanted to share where I get everything from in case you're interested. And now let's go ahead and get into the tracking. I'm going to zoom you a little bit in. I'm going to be tracking from the 1st to the 10th. I track from the day of payday to the day before the following payday. The only time it is a bit longer is usually the first week of the month or the last week of the month because I do like to keep all of the expenses for the current month within the current month. I don't like to track some of the previous month with the current month, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to start on the 1st. I did have a couple purchases. I went to Target. I mean, not Target. <laughs> Starbucks for $33. They started the year off on a sugary note. So that was... Oh no, there's one more transaction. I also purchased a drum stool on Amazon for $64. Brian pretty much broke Isaiah's drum stool. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know it was going to come outside of the page. That's okay. So this planner, the boxes are a lot smaller than my old planner. So I'm going to have to not spend so much money or like cramp them together. But the first uh, day of the month has a lot of bills. So it kind of takes up all the space. But anyway, so yeah, Brian stepped on um, Isaiah's step stool. I mean, his drum stool and he broke it. So he went online and he liked this um, drum stool. Of course, it was way more expensive than the one he had, but we ended up getting it for $64. That is coming out of the tax return buffer. We still have quite a bit of 2021 tax return and we're keeping that money to uh, just buy furniture and decorations and stuff for their rooms. So it kind of makes sense to take it out of there. So that's it for the first on the second. It was a no spend day. So... The first no spend day of the year. On the third, there was a couple of transactions. I did make an online order for uh, some dog food and some Glade plugins at Sam's Club. So that was $60 for both. And I will be taking that from the pets envelope and household envelope. And then I also pumped gas in our family car at Food for Less for $49. I always like to pump at Food for Less because they do give you 10 cents off the gallon. If you are someone that uses their little member card and you shop at the grocery store, they usually will take cents off of every gallon. So um, I'm always able to save some money from there. So that's pretty much it for the third on the 4th, there was a couple of transactions and they were both fast food transactions. So $11 at Del Taco. I don't know why I keep giving them a chance. Every time I buy something from Del Taco, it sucks. So <laughs> I need to stop spending my money there. And then $6 at McDonald's. My daughter wanted a Happy Meal, and since they are right across the street, it was convenient. So that's it for the 4th. On the 5th, there was three transactions. So Brian went to go pick up some Starbucks, and he picked some up for us too. So that was $26. We usually don't buy very much Starbucks. And I can see why $26 one day and $33 another, that's, that's what, almost $60? That's too much. And that is going to come out of takeout. And then I also went to the grocery store and spent $89 there. And the last thing, Brian had a, an appointment at Kaiser for a physical, so he did spend $10 
it was actually for medicine. Surprisingly, they didn't charge them for a copay, which they usually charge like twenty dollars. But um, yeah, so it was only ten dollars for some medicine, and that's gonna be coming out of health, and that's out of our sinking fund. That's pretty much it for the fifth. On the sixth, it was a no spend day. So the second no spend day of the month. It's so surprising from December to the first 10 days of January, how much more money was spent in December. It was a crazy amount. And then there's just, you know, so many transa little transactions every day. And um, it's way less than last month. Obviously, we were out a lot more and Christmas and everything. But um, if you're interested in seeing the last cash and stuffing and expense tracking i will link it here in the corner and you're going to be surprised of how much money that was that we spent but that's it for the fifth on the sixth there was wait <laughs> i just put it in the wrong one that's smart the good thing about these is that when you take them off it's not that sticker that leaves residue so there you go on the sixth no spend day on the seventh there was a few transactions i went to the grocery store again and i spent 89 dollars. i'm taking that out of groceries brian ended up doing a shrimp boil for his brother because his birthday was on the eighth so he wanted to make some food for him and he had never tried his shrimp oil so he did um make him some and i picked up everything from the grocery store that day and i also went to food for less and spent 54 dollars there there was a few things i wasn't able to get at superior so i went to food for less and i also picked up some stuff for the home along with whatever we needed for the shrimp oil so that's it for that oh there's one more transaction my son was complaining again that the wire on the other side was hurting his cheek so i bought some wax from amazon i had just gone on actually on the fourth so they can cut one side of the wire and then somehow the other side started to hurt right after but it's actually better he's been using the little wax to you know prevent it from poking so that's it for the seventh on the eighth it was a no spend day so let's put it right here on the ninth it was also a no spend day and the last oh no i don't like that it's crooked that will bug me <laughs> okay and then on the 10th the last transaction I ordered some lint rollers from Target for pickup for $12, a pack of three. We go through lint rollers like crazy. So that's going to that's gonna be coming out of household. That's pretty much it. It looks, it looks full, but you know, they're little tiny transactions except for like the grocery runs. But yeah, our first week and a half is looking pretty good. We have one, two three four no spend so far i'm hoping that at least i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna shoot for the stars so i'm just gonna say 10 for the month and um i think i already have one for yesterday so we might be able to do it we still have two weeks left and um because last month there was only three no spend days so that was that was a fail so that's pretty much gonna be it i don't know what i'm gonna use this little section for i might use it um i was thinking to maybe total up how much was spent in one day just for the variable expenses i wouldn't include the bills or the debts i wouldn't include that it would just be like variable expenses from cash envelopes or sinking funds and then maybe have the actual calendar here and then put the total for each day i don't know yet i'm just playing around with this because it isn't a budget planner it's just monthly the monthly spreads uh, but that's pretty much it for all of the tracking. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the unstuffing. All right, I'm just going to show you a quick 
a quick snapshot of how our week went. We are going to be cashing out $442. And the only buffer expense was the drum stool I spoke about. So that was $64. So a total spending of $506 for the first 10 days of January, which I think that is pretty good. Um, and then I just broke it down here even more. I'll just give you a quick look. 432 of that is from cash envelopes and only $10 from sinking funds. So we're off to a good start. What is that? <laughs> anyway, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start with... I'm just going to start with sinking funds since there's only one transaction. And that's from help. That is for the, the medicine for Brian. That was $10. By the way, I didn't even mention I have $50 in change just so that we're good here. Um, oh, in case I need any change. So now it has 100, 120, 140, 141. I was about to say 1,000. We're a long way from there. So that's pretty much it for sinking funds. I feel like these cash stuffings are going to be a lot shorter. Who am I kidding? I'll probably still talk your ear off, but since we are trying not to spend so much and, you know, most of our expenses are just going to be the day-to-day -day cash um, envelopes, variable spending, um, I think we'll be good for at least the first half of the year, I'm hoping. So out of gas, I'm taking $49 out. So I have $50. i am going to give $1 back. Now there's $2 here. And I will be unstuffing some of these um, to roll over in my cash stuffing video. I'm hoping to film it right after this video. So I gotta be pretty quick about today. So miscellaneous, I'm taking $3 out. And I have to get two back. So now there's 22 left. Pets, taking $45 out. That was for the dog food. It's 45. And now there's $10 left. I'll just start accumulating for the month again. And out of beauty, nothing. But my kids and Brian are going to get haircuts this weekend. So that's pretty much going to be gone. Kids is getting $33 taken out. So I have 35. And I'm getting two back, right? So yeah, there's $22 left. Pretty much one of the Starbucks runs, it was on them. <laughs> uh, personal, well, giving, I leave it there. Personal, nothing. Take out, I'm taking $43 out. So I have a 50, well, a 50, and I need $7 back. So now there is 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. We're off to a pretty good start. You've already been um, eating out a little bit for. Was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. But at least the first 10 days, it was very little that we spent. Most of it. And then, what, 26 of those dollars was Starbucks? So technically, that wasn't really food. It was drinks. And groceries, we're taking $232 out. $235. And I need to get $3. No, yeah, $3 back. We're out of singles. Hopefully, I don't need any more. So now we have 105, 6, 7, 8. And the last transaction out of household, $27. And that was for... What was it for? 
the lint roller and or oh, the the Sam's Club plugins. Twenty five six seven. Oh, good thing we have singles here. So that was pretty smooth compared to all the other ones, all the other cash on stuffing. So now there's twenty two dollars left, and we're done, guys. That was quick. Um, let me check that off. So, we should have, how much did I say? $442. I'm going to take this 50 out. That's for change. And make sure we have 442. 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 320, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 410, 20, 30, 41 two. so we're good we have the 442 dollars this is probably the smoothest cash on stuffing i've ever done which i am not mad about so <laughs> that's pretty much going to be it for this video i will use this money for my cash stuffing which i'm hoping to film next let me know how january has been going for you as far as spending clearly our spending has been going great i'm hoping the trend continues there is going to be some birthday spending, but um, that's already budgeted for, so you will see some of those transactions in the upcoming weeks. That's going to be the end of today's video. If you stuck around to this point, let me know how much money you have spent today. I know, at least for me, it's zero. It's still really early in the morning, but um, yeah, let me know how much you've spent today. I won't ask for the week because that's going to take some math, so... I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night. See you next time. Bye.